Uh, this is Steve Harris with Knowledge Publications and www.ush2 with another little gasification update for you. See this nice little stove here that was a propane stove. Can be a propane stove, still operates as a propane stove, but right now is bur burning the gas that we have gasified and produced. Now, of course, you might ask me, how are you storing the gas and everything? Well, it came right off of our new reactor and went right into a balloon. No pumps, no pressurizing needed. And I put it on a small one for you, otherwise I'd be panning around like this. But uh, latex weather balloon, <laughs> it's already been running the stove for a long time, hours. And uh, just a simple little valve of any type will work. And going through straight uh, airline hose directly up to the underside of the burner of this stove. And it's not hard to modify. The little text things below will be telling you how to do that. But this is an off-the-shelf propane stove that we quickly modified on a temporary or permanent basis over to be a cooking stove. And you can cook anything you want on this. So instead of using wood and then burning the wood inside of a house or a structure and kind of poisoning yourself over your short life to cook, you can now be gasified centrally and transported as simply as a weather balloon. This might be several days worth of cooking fuel for someone and again in a, this is a two dollar two dollar latex weather balloon the other one you saw was five this one's cheaper but it doesn't have to be a latex weather balloon it can be a lot of different things and here we go here we have nice and pardon the camera for a minute I'm going to pull this off because I know you're saying show me the flame show me the flame see there we go yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty blue flame. And this is on uh, low. It can go a lot higher. You want to see how much higher? Yeah. And again, all I did was turn this right here. See? Nice and simmer and low. Good for pancakes. Higher for cooking big pots. And of course, you can see there's nothing coming off of here. A lot of this is carbon monoxide. So you know what carbon monoxide burns to? Carbon dioxide. You don't have any other byproducts. That's all for today. Look for more updates. And be sure to sign up for our classes for this gasification technology because we're not patenting and locking it up. We're making it available. Eventually, it'll be free on Google for the, for the world. Thank you. Hey, there's one more thing I should show you. See this? Uh, see if the camera can focus on it good. That is a Coleman mantle on a piece of quarter inch black iron pipe hanging upside down. Wanted to work right side up, but I didn't quite for this test. But there is a little itty bitty trickle of gas coming out of there through the little pipe, through the hose, and through the balloon. This would power this for a very, very long time. Make this little nozzle a little better here. I'm sure you'd have a fully functional, very bright, mantle-based light. From gas in a balloon! Who knew? And if you want an idea of what's really possible, here it is, almost fully wide open, coming off of the hose to the balloon. And the balloon is, well, I'd rather have it far away, but it'd be hard to video. But there it is dumping through the quarter inch tube, black iron quarter inch. I've uh, dumped this through uh, one inchers like this that are metal, and it's like Terminator blowtorch. So this can be a lot of power. That right there. It's about enough gas to run a one or two kilowatt generator. That is actually a lot more than it looks. See, let me put my dirty, filthy hand up here so you can get a reference of the size. That's about, about an 18 inch flame. And you can see the balloon's just really not shrinking real quickly. Let me close up of this. Yes, this is what I had the mantle on. Look how pretty blue that is.
see? Actually, I make gas from this too. It's coal. And there's the balloon. This is quite small. It can be a lot bigger than that. No, I'm not going to pop the balloon in the lab with the flame. Don't ask. Maybe I'll do that later outside. Thank you.